Good morning everyone and welcome back to another studio vlog. Um, sorry about the noise, I have my fan on because it's really warm in here today. It's 10 to 12 but I have been working since about half 8. I just suddenly decided that I would do some vlogging for you. I've just been doing orders. Um, I haven't got a lot, well I have got a lot done. I've got three different orders on the go at once. Two are premium mat and the other one is just regular paper so I've been doing both of them at once then when I am finished I'm going to go to the post office what's going on at the moment so you would have seen me such a mess you would have seen that I had a portrait too up here I unboxed it in a vlog and then I mentioned in another my last vlog I think it was I mentioned in my last vlog, I think it was, that I was going to sell the portrait to. So I sold that over the weekend, so that is here wrapped up and ready to go. And then I've got some orders here, I've got some other orders, I just need to finish these. These ones need to be foiled, these are glossy, and then I can go. So I'm just going to carry on now. <laughs> from the post office now I've posted pretty much everything all orders that came in this morning I didn't get done in time 
but I've posted off the silhouette to its new home. So now I'm going to have a cup of tea and watch the new handmade designs vlog. I love Hannah's videos, they're so peaceful and I love seeing everything that she does in her studio. It's just so fun to watch. <laughs> so I'm going to sit down and watch that now and then I'll probably pick up the vlog some other time in the week. Good morning everyone, it is now the next day. I am just making a cup of tea, it's actually about 12 o'clock or half 12. I decided to do a flash sale today. I forgot to mention that, um, actually I'll talk about the washi in a minute. <laughs> The new washi tape that I have designed and I have ordered it, I ordered it um, over a week ago now but I just wanted to quickly show you the new one so I've designed um, two different colours so I've done green background and white background and then the last minute I decided to do this gradient washi as well which is thinner it's the same colours as in here so that's the same green and then the pink is pulled from within the flower and then I'm going to have them all in silver foil and a lighter gold foil so i never actually talked about my first lot of washi that i did i don't even think i've shared it on here so this here is the first washi that i did the artwork came with these floral bits that i turned into foil they were the elements that i wanted foiled but i was never actually happy with the way that it was laid it looked pretty but i was never fully happy with it and also the background colour I couldn't get right and um, it was originally a different colour and then when they sent me the proof through I wasn't sure again when it was the same thing of what I had designed but then I just said actually I want to change the background I changed the background to this and it's come out a bit more purpley but it's my fault because I was never happy with it and I should never have gone ahead with it at all I should have just redesigned it and then done it but I've learnt from my mistakes <laughs> not to rush anything but people did still like them I sold them as seconds and they've all sold out now for the new design I wanted to do it differently so what I did was instead of using the elements that come with the, the artwork I I placed all of the flowers that I wanted exactly where I wanted them I then moved this file into procreate and then I hand drew all of the foiled elements so all these lines and stuff i hand drew them myself on there exactly where i wanted it to be and then the stars design i made in photoshop i just wanted a filler washi that could be used with a lot of different kits and can be used together or can just be used separately so that is the new washi that's to come and i can't wait to show you properly they said it'll be shipping around the 25th to the 28th i'm hoping it will be in the shop early to mid july hopefully early july but yeah there's the update space again within my office bit because I am now doing washi in my shop I don't have anywhere to store it I had one pot where I had one lot of washi in last time but that was only one so now I have sold my portrait too I'm gonna move this somewhere else and I'm gonna put containers which I have bought I just need to unwrap up here and then I'm gonna get another one of these to go on here and then I'll have two rows which I could just do all washy there I also want to do pins eventually enamel pins so I want more space for that as well and then I'm planning on getting a big 
bit of furniture here from Ikea so that it's just metal shelving white they don't fit this way because my door opens it wouldn't open but they do fit perfectly this way so the stock would be showing that way if that makes any sense i've got three printers down here now the black invoice printer i'm not going to be using anymore i'm going to give that to my mum i'm going to print all my invoices on my laser printer it's just quicker more convenient i don't need to buy um ink all the time because toner lasts forever I also have a new printer here, which you can see, which I bought as a test because I had a lot of trouble with my HP printers, which you can see I've got two different ones now. Had a lot of trouble with them. In a mad panic, I bought a Canon just to see what it was like. So what I was going to do is the Canon would go on one shelf and then my invoice printer on the bottom, I'm going to have two containers of overflow like paper and overflow envelopes and packaging materials. And then I've still got three more levels above where I can expand my shop, possibly put all of my planners on one bit. Ikea is now open even though we are still in quarantine, kind of, um, but yeah, I will get them eventually. So these are the containers I got for my washi. I have no idea if they're even going to fit. I saw these on, what was it, B&M? online and I went to B&M to try and find them and they didn't have any of the size that I wanted but then I found them online so I looked at the cardboard containers that people have in here but I wanted something sturdier so I keep pulling in and out it would um, last longer so and these plastic ones you can always use um, for anything hope they fit oh yeah lovely so I, I think I can fit five along here and then I can stick a bit of the tape on the outside so I know which one is in which it's actually fit along here on this one probably go down here it's when I've got this one up here instead of this um, I'll have all my washi on one section Am I telling my subscribers? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Six fit along now. I ordered ten, so eventually I will order enough for some more. Hi guys. <laughs> this is me, George. <laughs> <laughs> These are the Wham Studio 7.01 containers, the rectangle ones. I just got white, but they do come in pink and grey as well. So although I don't looking at them again, I don't think all 50 of the washi will fit but I can have a certain amount in here ready, all labelled up and ready to go. And then all my extras I can have in one of those baskets on this unit here. So there's a lot more storage that I want to get to make all this more, more functional. At the moment, it's just a bit crammed in. I'd never really liked this here. I just put it there for the sake of it. Wednesday and I have ordered another one of these because it was 20% off on Argos so that will be coming tonight so I'm gonna put that up on here I'm moving the invoice printer over here for now which I'm just gonna be giving to my mum at the weekend then I'm gonna move that back down here put the printers on top of it just for now just until 
um, I get that big bit here which I don't know how long that will be but then I'll have all of this bit ready for when my washi comes and I think I'll just leave this here for now how it is so it's back down there but it's definitely not the safest that's what it's looking like for now oh it looks so messy these are all the orders that I got from the flash sale that I did yesterday a couple more there but I'm probably not going to film today doing orders I'm just going to get on with it and then just film putting this bit together I actually quite like it though I like that the printers are now off the floor it looks better So I'll have all my different washies all in here. I'll rip off a bit of washi and I'll stick it on the front so I know what is in each one. I might just get um, a couple more of these ones from Ikea instead because that fits in nicely there. And then I can have um, some other bits and bobs in there. Just I'll see what works but I am happy with how this looks. And I quite like having that bit on the end there as well. So yeah, looks looks good. <laughs> 